Thanks for watching our Silver Spring webcast today. We're excited to tell you about our big news, the introduction of our Gen 4 networking technology, with Silver Spring continuing to lead in innovation in the smart grid. Before we dive into the news, I want to take just a quick minute to back up and give you a little background on Silver Spring to help set the context for today's news. Silver Spring was created entirely to meet the challenges of building the smart grid, and we came to market with a singular vision to build a standards-based smart grid platform, all built on an IPv6 network. The power of the platform is that you can run advanced metering, distribution automation, demand response, all manner of smart grid applications, all on one network and all tied into unified back office software. So let's look at what this looks like. Here's our smart energy platform. It's an end-to-end -end network that ties devices in the home or business and all, all across the grid into our world-class back office software that's designed to support millions of endpoints and tie in easily into your existing systems. This was a really big bet 10 years ago, but it's really paid off. Our platform is the market leader, and now you hear everybody talking about building a smart grid platform and doing it all on IPv6, but we've been at this longer than anyone else. We've got 10 years of experience building this, and we've connected more than 10 million homes and businesses. So we're gratified to see the rest of the industry follow our lead, but this is the following we get most excited about. These are just some of the visionary utilities that we're working with across the globe and we're very proud to be their trusted partner in building out the smart grid. These past 10 years have shown us that smart grid challenges just keep getting tougher. And today folks are worried about supporting renewables, integrating electric vehicles, dealing with carbon monetization. And so our customers are asking us some really tough questions. How do I reach anywhere in my service territory, but do so in a way that's really cost effective? How can I get more capacity and performance out of my systems? How can I integrate the whole gamut of new devices that are coming onto the grid? And how, how can I support ever more demanding applications that are totally vital to how I run my grid? So we know we need the smart grid to do more, and we've got to invest in technology to do that. But the utility industry faces a very particular predicament. The technology we deploy today has to last 10 or 20 years, even though we don't know what those 20 years are going to bring us. So how do we resolve this dilemma? Flexibility. Fundamentally, you need a platform that can serve any transport, any territory, any endpoint, and any application. You need the flexibility to build the smart grid your way. And that's what Gen 4 is all about. So how does it do it? Well, first and foremost, it features a modular architecture. So you have a lot of options for how you outfit any given device based on the territory needs or the application needs where that device is going to serve. One of those options is to support cellular communications. You might do this for a couple of different reasons. One might be to reach an isolated location that's just uh, remote from everything else. And another is to reach a hard to hear location, like perhaps the the meter room down in the basement of a high-rise. But this is not just your father's cellular connectivity. We're delivering three unique capabilities in our cellular implementation. The first has to do with the notion that where you have one remote device, you're likely to have more. And so our devices simultaneously support cellular and mesh and can form a micromesh. MicroMesh technology lets all those other devices connect to the one cellular endpoint and use it as their takeout across the, land, across the WAN. MicroMesh, unique to SilverSpring, no one else does it. Our second unique cellular feature, regardless of how endpoints connect across the network, could be on mesh, could be on cellular, could be on MicroMesh, they're all homing into the same back office software. So you're not stuck integrating two different software systems just because you have two different transports. The third way in which our cellular implementation is unique is in how it gives you investment protection. We know that carriers are going to continue to evolve their networks, but you can easily take advantage of this. As they migrate from 2G to 3G to LTE, you can drop in just one next-gen device, and all of its neighbors will converge on that new endpoint to be their takeout point. 
so the whole community of devices gains the advantages of the new capability and you're not stuck with stranded assets. So now you can use any transport and cost effectively cover any territory. Gen 4 also dramatically increases performance. It supports the emerging IEEE 802.15.4G specification and we've embraced the higher performance of that specification and enhanced it, providing two to three times the speed of other smart grid networks. But we don't just go fast. In addition to supporting 300 kilobit per second performance, we also perform gear shifting. So any Gen 4 device can dynamically adjust its data rate. One way you might use this is for backward compatibility, so the Gen 4 devices just seamlessly drop into your existing network and they can all communicate. But we also apply gear shifting to solve another problem, automatically optimizing for performance and range. So 300 kilobit per second performance and gear shifting. Unique to SilverSpring, no one else does it. Gen 4 also delivers increased memory. This is crucial for supporting the whole range of endpoints that are coming onto the grid. Is your system ready to support this whole gamut of in-home devices and electric vehicles and potentially street lights over time. High performance, increased memory, so now you can support any endpoint and run any application. So here's the quick pop quiz. Were you paying attention? Can you name a few of the unique innovations that Silver Springs delivering with our Gen 4 technology? Well, I'm going to give you a cheat sheet. Here you go. We're delivering cellular and mesh, all tied to a single back office and not leaving you with stranded assets. We're supporting high data rates up to 300 kilobits per second. We're supporting gear shifting to optimize between range and performance. And we're delivering more memory in devices across the system. So Gen 4 gives you the ultimate in flexibility, letting you use any transport. No longer do you have to choose a different vendor just to support a new technology. You can cover any territory. No longer do you have to pay the price just to reach an isolated pocket of devices. You can connect any endpoint. No longer are you stuck with the prospect of stand stranded assets. And you can run any application. No longer are you constrained in network performance. So in short, SilverSpring gives you the smart grid your way. We invite you to learn more about how SilverSpring and Gen 4 can meet your smart grid challenges. And thanks so much for your time today.